I knew reading The Punisher would be an extraordinary adventure, but this is just insane. See, I had figured that The Punisher would be about administering extreme amounts of violence onto evildoers because there are very few people called The Punisher who work in sales and spend their time off helping old ladies over the street. A person named The Punisher would be more likely to feed the old lady to polar bears. In the first issues of The Punisher that I've ever read, The Punisher decides to take on the mafia family known as the Nucci's. Naturally, he uses grenades, pistols, rifles, and polar bears to accomplish this task. Yes, polar bears. Somehow Frank Castle finds himself alone with three polar bears. He describes them as cuddly, lovable, and docile. Three words that have never been used to describe a polar bear ever. I have friends of friends that live in areas where losing some of the population every year to polar bears is an accepted way of passing on. Describing a polar bear as cuddly is like saying Voldemort has some slight issues with blowing his nose. So what does the Punisher do? He punches the polar bear in the face. A new extreme sport, bear knuckle boxing. Yes, that was a pun. You'll have to deal with it. I don't do it that often. So, yeah, the Punisher just became world champion of poor life choices. Sure, let's punch a bear in the face. Who needs a life anyway? But not only does he punch a polar bear in the face, he also manages to escape its wrath because he's faster than a polar bear that can only run 25 miles per hour or 40 kilometers per hour. So instead, the poor bear has to settle for an old woman and her unfortunate bodyguard. So when I look back at my time reading comic books, Punisher hitting a polar bear will definitely be one of the craziest moments I've come across. Thank you for taking the time to check out today's Marvel video. The best way to help out this new channel is to leave a like, subscribe, or to comment. Have a marvelous day.